Okay, we got another uh, item here from a clearance. This particular thing you'll find at Menards. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Menards is a big uh, lumber and uh, hardware retailer in uh, the Midwest. So, uh, these are currently on their clearances in the store. I happened to see one when I was driving through a town and decided to stop, see what they had. Went straight to their clearance section. I found these. I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was less than nine bucks. But I'm sure it's going to be different at each store. Uh, this is called the Venture Multi-Use Sled. And it's supposed to be able to use for hauling and obviously kids also. You got some pictures of supposedly how to set it up when you're using the sled. Now, there is conflicting information here. On this, it says it's made by Hemisphere Design Works out of Muskegon, Michigan. And then the actual instructions in it says it's manufactured by KL Outdoor, also in Muskegon, Michigan. So it's probably the same company that changed names, I don't know. Uh, this sheet shows different ways to run the very long rope that's on it. That way if you're going to do a cargo, that way if you're using it for kids. Now some of the basic info on here, it says it's a uh, super tough high density polyethylene construction, large capacity, 65 inch long, heavy duty tow rope. Well I wouldn't call it heavy duty, it's just a nylon rope. And it's supposed to have a two year limited warranty. That's probably about the max they think it's going to last. Now. Uh, the plastic on it is a little bit tougher <clears throat> than your average uh, kid sled that I've seen in stores, but it's about the same thickness. So uh, one improvement I would recommend, add more holes for the ropes. You know, like one between each connection point, if you can see there, so that you increase the um, ways you can uh, lace the ropes back over your loads. Now it is a really long rope. And at the very back, when you tie the ropes together, you're supposed to use a uh, square knot, if I remember correctly. So, uh, recommendations on this. If you get these to use as Accios for hauling equipment, I would really think about getting two of them like putting them together, drilling the extra holes, and then running your ropes. And then uh, when you put, after you put your cargo in, you'll tighten down the ropes, pulling out the slack down on the end to uh, tighten it all up. Uh, I recommend possibly think about spray painting at least this top edge and lip with maybe some type of Krylon or something, some type of uh, spray paint that bonds with plastic. Paint that uh, some type of shade of white for uh, better concealment. I wouldn't worry too much about the sides. I doubt that's going to be as noticeable, but if you want to give it a few, you know, sprays in here also for cut down on it being seen from farther away, go ahead and uh, get some type of white canvas or something. Maybe uh, something along the lines of a uh, sail canvas. Use that as a cover over whatever you put inside to protect it from snow ending up in it, stuff falling on it, and holding the stuff inside your sled. Uh, the reason I'll mention this, I forgot to say it. The reason I say to use two sleds together 
is because of the thickness on this, if you got two together, that'll give you a little bit more material to work with, and hopefully it'll last a bit longer. But uh, this plastic, uh, those of us that live up in the Midwest will tell you, plastic in the cold does not last long. Two years is probably the max this would survive being out in the cold all the time. And at that two year mark, it's literally going to disintegrate. It's just what plastic does. It breaks down in the cold. But uh, they're cheap, far cheaper than an actual military Accio. I know I got a couple of them. Um, the cheapest I've come across for military Accios online right now are like 300 bucks. When I got mine, I got them for like 150 a piece. And if I knew when I bought those, you know, how the price would change so much in just a few years, I would have got more of them. But uh, if you're looking for some type of sled for hauling equipment during winter, this is an option. It is a cheap option. It is not going to last forever. So maybe this will help you for like the first winter, maybe the second winter. Uh, past that, count on that these are going to fall apart but it's still something it's still an idea still an option so better than nothing it uh, can't hold a candle to a military Accio in any way shape or form but it's still something you know something is better than nothing especially when you're hauling around a lot of stuff out in uh, the woods uh, do not put anything in here that has a sharp edge on it. So uh, don't put in any uh, ammo crates. Uh, maybe put in some ammo cans, you know, put them in here <coughs> and then tie them down. But ammo crates, you got those hard 90 degree corners and I got a feeling it'll puncture this plastic pretty easily. If you double these, putting two together, well, if it punctures the one, hopefully it won't puncture the other one which will uh, keep it from snagging on stuff in the snow, keep it from uh, pushing snow inside when you're uh, dragging it around. So, just an option. Now, for uh, all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, essay